you're a New York Met fan, wow, what a bad couple of days this has been for you. Josh Edgen, now uh, Zach Wheeler, are having Tommy John surgery. Uh, one might argue probably won't see these guys until 2016. So, your pitching staff already, your, your aces, quote-unquote, you have three of them. At least that's what they're being touted. Harvey coming off of Tommy John surgery. Zach Wheeler having Tommy John surgery. And Jacob DeGrom already having Tommy John surgery. Ezringhausen, Pulsifer, Wilson. Does that ring a bell? If you're familiar with the Mets from the early to mid-90s, that definitely rings a bell. Hopefully that's not the case. But I just want to give you my thoughts here. Um, this is just my honest opinion. Uh, they keep doing, honestly, the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. These pitchers, I think, are being hurt because they're being babied. They need to work year-round. Uh, they need to throw all year and keep throwing with a short vacation time like the rest of us. Honestly, a weight lifter, a weight lifter doesn't lift 100 pounds until game day and then tries to lift 500 pounds. Common sense, guys, I think, honestly. Work, throw, throw and throw. Um, a pitcher should be able to go nine innings if they have it that particular night. A relief pitcher should only be used if needed, not because of a pitch count or a particular inning uh, or a particular left and right-handed batter. Just continue to pitch and pitch. Keep doing what you're doing and injuries will Honestly, I think they will uh, they will keep coming, quite honestly. Um, now, aren't you glad, if you're a Met fan, that you did not trade uh, your pitching for too low? Honestly, you can never have too much of pitching. And you look at many of the old school pitchers, uh, like Tom Seaver, Nolan Ryan, etc., pitched a full nine innings consistently. Yet, they had long careers. Another example across the way of the New York Yankees, you look at Tanaka, every year pitched, what, close to 300 innings, then comes up to the Yankees and uh, screws up his arm. An argument made, at least in my opinion, that he wasn't worked enough. Now, I know you might say that um, with Tanaka, it's not so much the, uh, the pitch count, uh, but just that he has a mechanical flaw in the sense of with the way his throwing arm moves when he retracts. Uh, he pushes his elbow up, which is uh, really a, a no-go. Listen, but just coincidence, he comes pit, uh, on an inning count, so to speak, pitches less than what he did in Japan, and he gets hurt. Now, I know you have rare situations like... Uh, Santana, you could argue, Johan Santana throws that no-hitter, had about three or four good games afterwards, and then it's been downhill. So much so where he's now on a minor league contract with Tampa Bay. I understand there are certain situations, but overall, you should not be babying your pitchers. Let me know your thoughts, and until next time, adios over and out.